welcome to our adventure up to North Thailand. We are about to board our train from Bangkok, Bangsu Station to Chiang Mai. We're about to catch the overnight sleeper train, which we have booked in advance. Um, for anyone wondering, I don't think you can get tickets here. Well, we haven't tried because obviously we already have tickets anyway, but I do recommend booking it in advance just for safety and to make sure you're gonna get on the train. We've already made a little bit of a boo-boo because we thought by the time we got here, there would be somewhere to eat some dinner and it turns out that there isn't. So we haven't eaten any dinner. It is nine o'clock at night. We are hungry and it doesn't currently look like we're about to get any dinner. So that is a little bit of a dilemma. I booked the tickets in advance with the app one Two go Asia, which I really recommend for any travel bookings to get around Southeast Asia. A lot of backpackers have recommended it to me and it was really easy to book our train tickets on there. I don't remember exactly the cost of these train tickets. We did get the overnight sleeper with air conditioning so it is the nicer sort of beds hopefully <laughs> life of a backpacker making friends already <laughs> it's definitely a very different style of train station to the ones in the UK. The tracks are very, very high up, like literally right in front of your feet. You can literally walk across the tracks there. So a quick update on the food situation. Our Grab Eats has just arrived. We ended up getting a Thai McDonald's and this is actually our first Thai McDonald's. So we'll give you a little first impressions. They had on there these little meals where you can get four chicken nuggets, a mayo chicken, some small fries and a Coke for, oh God, I can't remember what it was each, but the whole bill came to 215 baht and that was including the delivery as well. So I think that's roughly around five pounds at home. So actually a really good price for all the food you're getting. And that five pounds was for both of ours as well so actually two meals for a fiver which is pretty mad how's that burger does it just taste like a mayo chicken never had a mayo chicken yeah you did you had my mayo chicken before a few moments later the train should be getting here any minute now tickets at the ready let's go These two? Do you want me to go blow? No, I'll go. We've made it. We're on. It's a pretty bougie setting, huh? Callum's bottom bunk has got a window. Not that you can see anything out of there at the minute. Mine up there does not. Show us how you use it. I don't know what I thought I was expecting. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. This was not it. Holy shit, that's sick. So that's, that's the, oh, that's the one I went in, and this is the normal toilet. Right. I can't explain to you how bad it smells on here. Those toilets are the most vile thing I've ever smelled in my whole life. And I went to Creamfields Festival, and those were
we're a little bit cramped but this is my setup for the night just pulled my curtain on the top bunk kind of annoying because the main lights are right there and they're still on but I've just put my <laughs> I've just put my own pillowcase on because I felt like it's just that little bit more hygienic. <laughs> but yeah, not really much to report up here. I thought I was going to have like a little side table or something, but no, we've literally just got hooks over there. We've got this tiny little pod here, I suppose that's for your phone. But yeah, this is my setup. I'm just gonna put Grey's Anatomy on for a little while now until I go to sleep. It is already midnight, so hopefully I'll be gone in a little bit. Got my eye mask ready to go because it doesn't look like those main lights are gonna be turning off anytime soon. And then I will update you in the morning when we are getting nearer to Chiang Mai. Na na. The next day. Guys, I have barely slept. Morning. <laughs> Did you sleep? I can't say because Lucy slept badly. I slept really well. Nice for sun. I slept so badly, if you can tell by the bags under my eyes. I just had one of those nights where I just could not get to sleep. I feel like I was just so aware of my surroundings that I just couldn't, I wasn't tired at all. I tried to get to sleep from about half past 12, waited about an hour, and then came down into Callum's bed for like 10 minutes, then went back up to bed, and then must have laid there awake for another two, three hours until I started drifting off. When I say laying there awake, I mean trying to sleep, eyes closed, eye mask on, trying to sleep and just couldn't. I won't blame the train though because I really don't think it was the train. I think it was just me adjusting to a new setting, new time zones. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I just could not sleep at all. Pillows were hard. Yeah, pillows, pillows were weren't hard. great. Pillow but gave me a slight earache I found as a well. Sweet spot. Blanket? These blankets are so weird, right? Because they come out the packet and they're warm. And I thought it was just mine at first because of this rash on my leg. I thought it was my legs feeling warm. But then Callum said, oh, is your, is your blanket really hot? And I was like, oh my God, yes, it is. It feels like they've been all radiated. And they have just held their heat all night. One thing that we did read in quite a lot of the written reviews about the overnight train is that a lot of people were saying it gets really cold with the air conditioning on the train, which I can imagine if you have the air conditioning blasting at you all night is probably true. I did not think it was too cold at all. I was actually quite warm last night. I slept in a t-shirt and shorts. I was gonna say the same thing. Blanket definitely helps as well. I don't know what they've done to it, but this is like some magical blanket that just holds its heat. I also found it a little bit disorientating this morning when I did eventually wake up that there was no window on the top bunk, which is quite a shame. I do understand why, because when the bed is made back into seats in a minute, I just suppose you're not really supposed to have a window up on the top of the train, but it would be nice to have a top bunk with a window so you don't really feel so disorientated not knowing like what time of the day it is and where we are. your first review. Bangkok to Chiang Mai 
and gonna get the train, I definitely recommend booking in advance to get the sleeper train. It just made such a difference going through the night knowing that you have a bed and you can rest. Also, we chose to get on the later train of the day. It was the half past 10 departure, which was really good because it means that you basically sleep through the night and then by the time you wake up, you've only got like an hour, an hour and a half left. Toilets were horrifically filthy. Can't say I didn't expect anything less than that anyway. But other than that, I think it was a quite a pleasant experience. What do you think? It was good. <laughs> man of many words. 14 hours later and we have made it to Chiang Mai Station. Two hours later. Once we had checked into our hostel room, we decided to go for a little walk up the road and literally a few meters away from our hostel was this beautiful temple. I believe the name of it is called Wat Lok Molly. I will leave it on screen because I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but yeah, it was absolutely stunning. Definitely had a lot of Chinese heritage, I believe, but I don't know much else about it and Wikipedia was kind of useless, but you can look it up for yourself if you're interested and it was just absolutely stunning. Literally just opposite this temple was another temple which might be the most beautiful one I have personally ever seen in my life. This one is called the Wat Rajamontine. Again, probably pronounced it wrong. I don't know loads about it as well, but I know that it is a north facing temple, which is apparently quite unusual for Thailand. And it was constructed in the 15th century under the reign of the king Tilokarat. <laughs> I feel like this is quite a small temple in comparison to some of the others we've seen, but it's definitely most eye-catching in terms of colour and pattern. Okay, so we've decided to try these mochis. I think that's what they're called for the first time. Callum's is the blue one and his is strawberry jam flavor. Blueberry and I went, jam. oh sorry, blueberry jam. And I went for chocolate. That feels yeah. really weird. I did not expect it to feel like that. Okay, give us your first impressions. Okay, let's go. That's good. Is it? Really it smells good. good. This is Lucy's. Oh, it Ooh. really does just feel this like. This is Lucy's, and she got flour. chocolate. This would be interesting. Mum was sweet and fruity. Tastes like chocolate. Let's see. I can't pinpoint. Very flowery. No. Not my favourite. Well, hey. Lovely. New hair clip, 20 baht, which is 48 pounds at home. I mean, 48p. This is what I went for. Mine is strawberry and banana with yogurt and cream and chocolate sauce. Looks so good. What did you get? Um, Oreo, obvious. Vanilla with brownie and Oreo. <laughs> How could I guess? And that is the end to our overnight train experience up to Chiang Mai and our first day settling into this new city. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really do hope you enjoyed. Please do leave a comment if you have any questions about the overnight train experience and do make sure to subscribe to my channel and also like the video as well if you did enjoy and want to see more. I have a really exciting video coming today. We are actually off to the elephant so 
sanctuary today so that will be my next video so please do make sure to keep an eye out for that as well if you want to see what we get up to with the elephants but for now I'm gonna leave it here so thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one bye